Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a JPM 405 Euro cylinder lock. It is a French pump lock. And it's very unique. If, if, it, if pump lock is another name for a tubular lock, please let me know because I'm not sure. But it works just like one. You can see around the sides that the key itself, it just it pushes everything into a certain height and it allows it to rotate and turn. Just like that. And so, the one unique about thing about this is it's trying to tension it and it's because that anywhere you put this there's a key weight and a problem and another thing about this too is when you're picking it there is a pin at the top that must be pushed in in order for this to open or in order for this to be allowed to rotate it is that silver pin right there all right, this ain't very bright. There we go. That silver pin right there. There we go. So that must be pushed in in order for this to rotate. So the way I found to do this is there's not really a whole lot of space to tension this because there's pins all along these holes, but not that one. And so you could tension this in a funky way right here, down at the bottom out of the way, and pick that pin up there if you needed to. But what I decided to do is to circumvent that pin altogether. And what I'm gonna do is put my turning tool in, push that pin in up at the top that's um, coming out of the Bible, and then add my uh, turning pressure right there. So it's holding that pin up and I'm um, tensioning it that way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. And so there's a little bit on one, two is set. These are very nicely audible um, set pins. And there is our open, so we got it turning. And so one unique thing about this is once you turn it, now you have to pick it back the other way. And so what's um, cool about picking it back the other way, luckily, is that pin that was sticking down that we had to push up with our turning tool before it's coming out of the Bible, but now we have a pin here, so that whole, the, our core is now holding that pin up, so we don't have to worry about that pin now, so all we really have to do is put our turning tool in here in a good spot. Right there, just to make sure it's not binding on our core in any way. Add some pressure and pick it back. So there we go, we got that pin right there. Got that pin. Got that pin. Maybe not that pin. One's not ready. Okay, that one now is set. That one's ready, and there we go. And so now we picked it back. And our lock is again usable. So again, yeah, very, very interesting lock, very cool. And I think it follows the theme as the last video of the Silverbird lock. It's almost a tool maker's challenge because it looks scary looking at how the hell do I do this? But if you have the right tool, if you just put it in the right spot, sometimes something that's scary isn't that scary. And if you do want to see this um, gutted, I would recommend checking out uh, LockDoc's video. It is the most recent one I've seen of the JPM 405 being gutted <clears throat> and is picked and fully gutted in that video. But this one is loaned to me by Peter South and I am not going to gut someone else's lock that is unique that I know nothing about. Anyways, this was the JPM 405 and thanks for watching.